Hey everybody, I just want to do a quick video to let everybody know or to share how I lost seven pounds in one week and how I was able to decrease my belly fat so fast. So this morning I posted a video on my, I mean not a video, I posted some pictures on my Facebook and a lot of people have been asking me how I did it. So I just wanted to share what I've learned and what I've been doing with you guys. So one thing that I've tried and one thing I've been doing is the five bite diet. So I've never done a diet before in my life, never had to, never had to consider it, never had to think about it, never even dreamt of it. But I guess because now I'm older, I have two kids, weight isn't just falling off of me like it used to. So if you know me, you know I've always been like super skinny, not like skinny, but I've always been like super skinny my whole life. So for weight to actually stick to me this is all new so by no means am I like a fitness freak or I'm a diet expert or anything of that nature but I'm just gonna share with you guys what I've learned and tell y'all what I've been doing so okay the five by diet I suggest that you guys go on to YouTube and do some research about the five by diet the concept of the five by diet is to eat like a person who had gastric bypass surgery so if you know anything about that surgery or if you know anyone who has had that surgery you know that they can't eat a lot because their stomach is much smaller so you kind of going by that same concept so one thing i like about this diet is that you are allowed to eat anything you want so if you want to eat candy cake cookies chips eat it you know the only thing is you're only allowed to have five bites so i had to modify it a little bit and even my modification worked so the concept is to skip breakfast to take you a multivitamin because you still want to make sure that you're getting nutrients and vitamins because you're not eating a lot and have a cup of coffee so i'm not really a breakfast eater anyway so a cup of coffee is fine for lunch five bites for dinner five bites that's it now you are allowed to have maybe a bite or two in between those meals so the doctor who came up with this diet he encourages everybody for their first week to eat snicker bars for lunch and dinner the concept behind eating snicker bars is to teach you what five bites feel like what five bites look like and because you're allowed to eat whatever you want, snicker bars are okay. So when thinking about dieting, I knew that I was going to have to choose a diet that was affordable, a diet that I where I could still eat what I want to eat because I just some things I'm just not trying to cut out. Let's be real, you know we don't want to just be like, oh, we eat fruits and vegetables all day every day. Like no. So this diet has really been working for me. It is helpful because it taught me to become conscious about not only what I eat, but how much I eat and what times of the day that I eat them. So I've been doing a five by diet. I had to realize that one of the reasons why I had gained so much weight, it wasn't just because I had a second child, which definitely contributed to the weight, but it was because I had started a very unhealthy habit of eating late at night. So I stay up late. So I would be up at like one and two o'clock in the morning, morning eating like two cupcakes. I would eat like a half a bag of popcorn. I would eat like, um, two packs of crackers like I was just eating and eating late at night is not healthy and if you want to gain weight that's definitely a way to do it so because I started that habit I just noticed that weight was just packing on packing on so at first I was happy about it because I've always been so skinny so I was like oh you know I'm getting a little thick I'm getting some weight finally but then I started to notice that this weight wasn't just going to my butt and legs like I wanted it to, but it was like accumulating in my belly. Not attractive. So I said, you know, Renzi, you really have to do something about this. So I started the diet. 
I also started to drink apple cider vinegar which is very good for you and people say like some people put it in water um, I've heard of people putting it in grapefruit juice none of that worked for me so it was easier for me to take a tablespoon pour the apple apple cider vinegar on the tablespoon and just drink it and chase it with eight ounces of something because to try to drink apple cider vinegar in something I just can't do that that I just no so I do that three times a day before every meal so I do it in the mornings before I have lunch I drink some apple cider vinegar and before I go to bed I drink apple cider vinegar so that's another thing that I've been doing um also I started to run and walk every morning for at least 30 minutes so 30 minutes of cardio has helped me tremendously like so much in so many different ways not just like losing belly fat but it gives me energy for the rest of my day like I wish I knew this like long time ago because I probably would have been doing this but when I come home after running and walking I have so much energy to do other things like sometimes I even do some ex exercises at home because I actually have the energy and the mind to get it done so um, that has really helped I try to do two and a half miles in 30 minutes walking and running I don't go to a gym I just I walk straight down. in which I live on if you follow me on Facebook you've seen pictures that I've posted and this street that I live on I live in the country it's a hilly street so walking up those hills down those hills it kind of to me it feels like mountain climbing or you know if you was on one of those fit climber things so it's really good for my legs it works my butt out and it also helps me you know drop pounds now back to the five bite diet so let me share something with y'all i had to modify that a little bit so in between eating five bites i will eat healthy snacks so i started to blend like fruits and vegetables i bought one of those packs like you know how the salads um come in a pack well i bought a pack that consists of spinach cabbage beets and um i think that's it and I blend that with maybe a quarter, not a quarter, a half an, of an apple to make it kind of sweet. Now, I don't juice it because I want the fiber. When you juice things, sometimes you don't get as much fiber. So I blend it instead of juicing it and I drink that. Um, yesterday, I started to eat almonds because almonds are really good for your skin. It's good for your hair. It's good for your body. It's a very, very healthy nut. So, um, almonds also curb your appetite. So, it's really true because I tried it this morning for breakfast. I ate some almonds and I haven't eaten since. So, I'm getting ready after this video to eat a light lunch. But this morning I had coffee and I had a handful of almonds and that was it. So, that really does help me a lot and it's very healthy for you. So, in between your five bite meals, I chose to still eat a little snack, but I try to eat something healthier. Or sometimes I'll have like my peanut butter crackers, which I really like. I'll eat like a pack. Instead of eating two or three packs, I just have one pack. Instead of eating a half a bag of popcorn, I'll eat maybe like a cup and a half of popcorn. So, I just eat less. I haven't really changed what I eat, but I've incorporated healthier foods and I eat less of the unhealthy foods. So, I do that. Another thing that I've been doing is uh, my apple cider vinegar. I said that. And I also, before I go walking, I take, I, I wrap my stomach. I do like a, um, a body wrap and I wear my sweatband. So I take some regular Vicks Vapor Rub, rub it on my belly, wrap my stomach with cellophane, put on my sweatband. I go outside, I run, and I walk. And what that does is it helped me lose inches. And I believe that's why my stomach actually started getting smaller because I'm burning off a lot of water weight. And I make sure I stay hydrated. So I've been drinking way more water than I've ever drunk. I'm not really a water drinker. Like, I was drinking soda all the time. I'll be like, I'm thirsty. Where's the Coke? 
but instead I drink a lot of water um, I don't drink plain water what I do is I put lemons mint leaves and ginger in my water and that's a good weight loss drink as well so it helps your digestive system it helps you digest foods better and it's just good for you so I drink a lot of lemon mint and ginger water and um, I drink more green tea green tea is known for weight loss so I drink green tea I drink peppermint tea and I don't sweeten it with sugar I sweeten it with raw honey honey is very good for weight loss honey has a lot of benefits so I've been drinking more honey so a lot of times when I get hungry or I feel like I want to eat something I drink instead so I've started doing that and with those things that's really it you know I try to at least work out 30 minutes a day and in those 30 minutes I try to at least do two and a half miles I'm trying to work my way up to three miles in 30 minutes and um, I put on my little headphones and I go outside I run and I walk now I try to watch like DVDs YouTube videos workout videos and stuff I can't do that I'm lazy I'm tired like when I'm at home and I'm trying to work out and I get tired I'll be like forget this and I turn the TV on it's a wrap but I like to be outside anyway I like nature so when you're outside and you're walking and you're running and you get halfway down the street guess what if you get tired you still gotta walk back so you don't have no choice so I realized that that works better for me and I like the fact that I feel so good when I get home I feel like I could do other things so sometimes I'll come home and I'll do lunges I'll do some crunches I'll do some sit-ups or something like that so um, I still want to lose more of my belly. I still have some love handles to lose because the sides or whatever is still kind of chunky and I don't like that. But I can definitely see progress and that's what I was hoping for. And so basically that's all I've been doing. I mean, nothing magical, nothing special, but I would suggest that you guys look into the 5 by diet. Give it a try. Let me know what y'all think. If you decide to try, hey, stay in contact with me. Let me know what your progress is. Everybody needs motivation. Everybody needs support. So if there's any way that I can motivate or support you, let me know. Let's make this a team effort. Um, why wait to summer to get a flat belly? Why wait to summer to lose weight when you can do it now? Another thing about this journey is when I first started it, I wanted to lose weight so I'm thinking oh I'm fat I need to lose weight I, I don't gain too much weight you know I was happy to be a little thicker and you know have some legs and some butt but I just was like oh maybe I'm too fat now my goals have changed I actually like the weight that I put on I just don't like my belly so my goal isn't really to lose weight it's to burn fat so that's where my goals have changed because I want to burn the fat that's sitting in my belly so I'm not necessarily overall jumping on a scale to see if I lost five pounds two pounds three pounds anymore I'm paying attention to how my body looks and I'm trying to determine if the way that my body looks is how I want it to look versus what the scale says so that's that's the only thing so if you guys have any questions um, you can find me on Facebook at Naturally Stable TV or you can hit me up on my Instagram at Naturally Stable underscore TV. Uh, my personal Facebook is Runzy Scranton dash, dash Lewis. So you can find me on there and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to throw something together to tell you guys what I've been doing. And I ain't put on any makeup. I didn't do my hair, none of that for this video. I'm kind of looking rough, but that's okay because I worked out this morning and I'm probably going to work out a, a, again. I'm thinking that I maybe should go work out twice a day since I like it so much. And I'm kind of getting myself into the habit of working out. So it's becoming easier and easier for me. So if there's anything that I can do to help you guys along the way, let me know. Until next time, peace.